Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Moomoo. Right now you can earn an 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash by using my link in the description below. Terms and conditions do apply. You could also receive up to 15 free stocks right now. So go ahead and check out Moomoo. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Also make sure to check out the Discord, completely free to join. So I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Now let's get right into today's video. So today I want to take a look at some of the most anticipated earnings this week. This week is going to be very exciting as there are a lot of big companies announcing earnings. So let's just get right into this video. So let's start with Google or Alphabet. So let's take a look here. When does this stock have earnings? So if we take a look here at the most anticipated earnings releases this week that I posted on the Discord, where do we see Google or Alphabet? Right here. So that is under Tuesday. That means Google will announce earnings on Tuesday and it's under the after close column. So that means that Google will announce earnings on Tuesday after the market closes. So what I wanna do here now is take a look at what the implied move is or the earnings expected move. In other words, how much are investors expecting this stock to move for earnings? So let's go back to Robinhood. Remember, we find this by taking a look at how much the at the money straddle costs and multiplying that by 0.85. So let's go into the options here for Google. Remember an at the money straddle is an option strategy. We buy a call, we buy a put, they both have the same strike price and the same expiration date. But with the at the money straddle, we're specifically using the at the money call and the at the money put. So let's go ahead and select the at the money call here. So remember the at the money call is the call option whose strike price is as close to the current share price as possible. And so that's going to be the one at the 165 strike. So this is the at the money call here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this here and then I'm gonna switch over to puts and I'm also gonna select the at the money put. So same concept, the at the money put is the put whose strike price is as close to the current share price as possible. Remember the share price before the market closed because the share price can move a lot after the market closes but we should be taking a look at the share price before or when the market closed. So again, it's gonna be the one at the 165 strike. So let's go ahead and add this here. So as you can see, Robinhood recognizes this as a straddle. More specifically, this is the at the money straddle. So again, what we care about here is how much does this cost? And then we multiply that by 0 0.85. So we get 908. So in other words, investors are expecting Google's share price to move $9.08 up or down for earnings. And if we divide that by the current share price, we get about 5.5%. In other words, investors are expecting Google to move up or down about 5.5% for earnings. Remember, this is just an estimate, not a guarantee, and could definitely change as we get closer to earnings. Now let's quickly take a look here at Market Chameleon. So we take a look here, uh, the options market overestimated Google stock earnings move 33% of the time the last 12 quarters. The predicted move after the earnings announcement was plus or minus 6.1% on average. Again, we got 5.5% versus an average of the actual earnings move of plus or minus 6.2%. So generally on average, the last few quarters, the predicted move and the actual earnings move has been about the same. So let me know what you think Google will do for earnings. Let's go on to the next stock on the list. So the next stock will be ticker symbol AMD. So AMD, if we take a look here at the earnings calendar, AMD will announce earnings also on Tuesday after the market closes. So what is the implied move for AMD? Let's take a look here very quickly. 
So again, we want to select the at the money call and the at the money put. So the at the money option is the one at the 155 strike for AMD. So I'm going to select that call. I'm also going to select that put. And again, what we care about here is multiplying this by 0.85. And so that's going to give us around 1050. So investors are expecting AMD share price to move up or down about $10.50. Again, if we divide that by the current share price, we get about 6.7%. Now let's take a look here at Market Chameleon. So we actually see AMD up here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click it. So let's take a look. The options market overestimated AMD stock earnings move 58% of the time in the last 12 quarters. So the predicted move after earnings announcement was plus or minus 7.8% on average versus an average of the actual earnings move of plus or minus 7.1%. So that's AMD. Let's move on to the next stock here. So this is going to be ticker symbol META, Meta or Facebook. So when does Meta have earnings? Let's take a look here. So here is Meta. Meta is under Wednesday after the market closes. So let's take a look here. What is the implied move for Meta or Facebook? So let's go into the options here. So the at the money call is the one at the 572.50 strike. So I'm gonna select the call and I'm gonna select that put as well. And so again, we multiply this by 0.85. That gives us around $40.33. And again, if we divide that by the current share price, we get about plus or minus 7%. Investors expect Facebook to move up or down about 7% for earnings as of right now. Let's see what Market Chameleon is saying. So here's Meta. So for Meta, the options market overestimated stock earnings move 42% of the time in the last 12 quarters. The predicted move after earnings announcement has been plus or minus 9% on average versus an average of the actual earnings move of plus or minus 13.2%. So what this could potentially tell us is that meta tends to move more than what the implied move is. And so that's meta. Let's move on to the next stock on the list here. So this is going to be ticker symbol MSFT or Microsoft. When does Microsoft have earnings? So Microsoft is also going to be Wednesday after the market closes. So what is the implied move for Microsoft? So let's go into the options here. So the at the money call and the at the money put is the one at the 427.50 strike for Microsoft. So I'm gonna select that call, I'm gonna select that put. Again, we care how much this cost, and then we multiply that by 0.85. So that gives us around $17.47. Again, if we divide that by the current share price, we get about 4.1%. So investors are expecting a Microsoft stock to move up or down about 4.1% for earnings. Let's take a look at Market Chameleon. So here's Microsoft. So the options market overestimated Microsoft stock earnings move 67% of the time in the last 12 quarters. The predicted move after earnings announcement was plus or minus 5.1% on average versus the average of the actual earnings move plus or minus 3.9%. Finally, two more stocks here. So the next one, AMZN, Amazon. So let me take a look here. When does Amazon have earnings? Amazon has earnings on Thursday after the market closes. So what is the implied move for Amazon? Let's take a look here. Let's go into the options for Amazon. So the at the money option for Amazon is the one at the 187.50 strike. So this is the at the money call. Let's select it and then let's select the at the money put here as well. So this would cost around 12.85. We multiply that by 0.85. So we get 10.92 for Amazon. We divide that by the current share price. We get about 5.8%. So investors are expecting Amazon share price to move up or down about 5.8% for earnings. Let's take a look at Market Chameleon here. Options market overestimated Amazon stock earnings move 46% of the time in the last 13 quarters. 
The predicted move after the earnings announcement was plus or minus 7% on average versus an average of the actual earnings move of plus or minus 7.8%. So finally, the last stock on the list here, we have Apple. So A-A-P-L. Now, when does Apple have earnings? So Apple has earnings on Thursday after the market closes as well. So what's the implied move for Apple? Let's quickly take a look here. So the at the money option for Apple right now is the one at the 232.50 strike. And so we're gonna select this call. We'll also select this put. And again, this cost around 918. We multiply that by 0.85 we get $7.80. We divide that by the current share price. We get about plus or minus 3.4% for Apple. Finally, let's compare this to market chameleon. So here is Apple. So if we take a look here, uh, the options market overestimated Apple stock earnings move 62% of the time in the last 13 quarters. The predicted move after earnings announcement was plus or minus 4% on average versus an average of the actual earnings move of plus or minus 3.4%. So there you guys have it, the most anticipated earnings for this week. Let me know in the comment section below how you think these stocks will perform and which stocks you are watching. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.